it's Pam with the organizer AZ911 and this is day 14 of my 2016 quote month series of organizing video tips and in continuing with our office theme or organizing our paperwork kind of theme um, I wanted to talk about the magazines that we tend to collect whether they be local magazines or national magazines or those specialty catalogs they tend to build up pretty quickly and create uh, a lot of paper trouble for a lot of people I've seen. So um, I thought I'd offer um, a tip and suggestion about how to keep them under control a little bit. And for one thing, um, here's one thing to just kind of think about. If at all possible, try to uh, maybe subscribe to some of these uh, get subscriptions online to them. That way you can easily go back and forth with different uh, months and, and check on articles because a lot of times people tell me, oh, I've kept them because there's an article I want out of that one. Well, if you subscribe to something online, a lot of these magazines are available online and you can do away with having the hard copy in your home. However, there is a lot of enjoyment, I have to admit, sitting down and flipping through the pages and, uh, you know, it's a way to relax and unwind a bit. And to that I would say find a some type of bin or container, and it doesn't have to be just a plastic thing like this, I was just using this for an example, but um, maybe get a, a decorative basket. Small though, try to, the reason I picked this one is try to make it just about this height, no more. Because what happens is we, you remember when I talked about listening to life? Okay, well if you have a stack this high every month that you're getting in magazines and various catalogs, there's no way you're going to have enough time to get through it. And probably if they're piling up, that's life telling you you don't have time. So what I like to suggest is to get a limiting size container and when you get them in the mail, put them into that container and then place that container where you would normally sit down to read it, okay? And um, when that container fills up, uh, then you need, before you can bring another one in, you have to weed some of them out. Um, and that way it kind of keeps you motivated to try to read what you can. Um, but never letting it get higher than this. And that, like I said, it will help you uh, recognize what life is telling you. Which magazines are you having the time? Or which specialty catalogs or any of the other catalogs we tend to get? Um, are you, do you really have time for, okay? Because it's kind of getting real with that. And when you've got piles of magazines uh, backed up, you know, three and four months old, that's life telling you, you really don't have time to sit down and read, or it's not that high on your priority list, okay? So, get, grab yourself a bin, no more than, I'm thinking around four inches high or something like that. Put it where you'd like to read your magazines and never let that pile get higher than that. Okay, so when you bring in that mail, put it right in there. It's separate from your regular mail. All right, I hope this tip helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And uh, please check back if you've missed any of my previous um, office organizing tips just a few days ago. And please check back for the additional ones that are yet to come. I'm Pam with Organizer AZ911. Thanks for watching.